Here we are in Elizabethtown, and there she is taking off her rain gear after breakfast. Are you sure we're going where the skies are blue? We're going this way, and look, you see clouds, but you see blue. So I think it's safe. So you can take your rain gear off. And, and what time is it now? It's uh, 9. 47 ways, that's the central, where it's 1047 Eastern. We'll see how long it is before I have to put these back on. And we're on our way to Milwaukee on the big Sturgis run. Oh. Picture of me with my new image. Look good? Yeah. It was my all my idea. So I can take my rain gear off too then. Second stop to eat. 140. Getting ready, getting get, Every time we stop to eat, there's sun. There's what? Sun? Well yeah, there wasn't hasn't been any sun. Every time we stop to eat, there's sun. All this getting fixed up to go into the restroom. Absolutely love. Set. Waiting for the storm to pass. You think it's going to rain? Gonna stop. Why are we? Why are you waiting here? What? Huh? Tell them about your what you just did. What? I just. We come through the traffic. The traffic, uh, one hour and a half to get three miles. No, two hours. Two hours to get three miles. Through Chattanooga. Not Chattanooga. My brain's gone. Chicago. Chicago. And my ass feels like I've been riding on a Honda. Now we're waiting. We so, got to change, and we so got to go out. We're on a toll so road. Mildly, the so Honda, you got to change. The Honda didn't make my ass hurt like the Harley did. Where's the? That's to go down a toll road, which which is 94, and it's a toll road. That's yeah. what I don't understand. So that's where we're going, right up there, and pay that toll. And pretty soon we're gonna see Jeffrey in about two more hours. He'll be rested and suntanned. Yeah, he's probably been there at the pool. He's probably dressed in suntan and drunk. Oh, uh, Yes. <laughs> Seven hundred miles. You're late. How long you been here? Since three o'clock, like you said you would be here. Three o'clock? You told him three o'clock. Huh? How could you tell him three o'clock? Well, I was planning on leaving at three in the, in the morning. You didn't get here no three o'clock. Oh, this time in... Oh, this is... Wait a minute. Real hardy people. There it is. We're gonna have to tie your helmet if we're gonna have to tie it on the on the back. Well, I can't somehow. get this open here. You have to open it. That's cool. Well, I guess it probably is. Huh? 
gonna hurry up because I'm really cool. I'm about to freeze. You're not gonna in, wear I'm a helmet. Zooming in on Chitty. You're not gonna wear a helmet. I'm gonna be a real hard rider today. Looking good. First morning. Hope it starts. My God, it does start fast. Gas stop, our first gas stop, about 65, 70 miles, I guess. That's the answer. Get a job. <laughs> what? Get a job. You can have anything you want. I can have anything I want without a job. That's. I like to know how. Not that old yet, buddy? Back here. You're supposed to ride with your partner. I didn't did think you find good. a good-looking one? Oh yeah. See, what would you? Up. Okay. How would? How did you know we didn't break down? What do I care? <laughs> how did you know I didn't break down? You're the part. Well, yeah, but you was ahead of us. Well, I, I was up in the head group. It was all busted up. I went to the front. I'm gonna. I'm what? staying in the back. You always. You always find me in the back because it's. I, I can you know stay. I got busted up. I can stay a farther distance. What you did. I like to stay a farther distance away. They should have went real slow through town. Yeah, they should have. I agree. See if you, that, look at that bike, if, David. She just fixed it up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Put it where you want it on your forehead and hold it. Well, that looks like a babushka. Right there, it's got to stay on. Okay, hold it. You hold it. All right. Hold it in the front. Wow. You said you wanted to stay on, didn't you? Yeah. I have no blood going to the brain anymore. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me to take my pictures. Let me see how I look what? first. Well, it looked like a nerd, I think. Well, now, you're the one who held it where you wanted it. All right. <laughs> well, it's going to loosen Once up. Once I take it off, I'll never break it down. You know what you could buy, well, Jeffrey? you just have to retie it every time. Oh, oh, God. I had it tucked in good and everything oh, in the back. Second gas stop. We went over here to Phillips 66, and the big gangs were across the street there, and we're going to go up there now. I'm going to go up ahead after you eat. I'm going to go up ahead and I'm going to take uh, pictures. You should, did you have Mary hold the camera? Yeah. But when you get up in this area, it's beautiful when the roads start twisting and you can see the mics in there. Wave! You what? Okay. We're waiting for the motorcycles to be coming through.
was the wind. No wind. No wind. What was that uh, piece that flew off? Why didn't you stop and get it? If that would have been a Honda, it would have been. 50 people probably ran now. it over. No, it went right off on the shoulder. You can go back. It's be a, be between mile marker 204 and 205. I don't know what I'm looking for. There's our room in Albert Lee. King size bed for me and Mary. Chair for Jeffrey. <laughs> And guess who's paying the whole cost? David Lester. No way. If he, if he touches the bed, he has to pay. Sit down, sorry. It's supposed to blow That's off. That's right. You put it where you want it. Back a little. Pull back a little. Right, right there. Okay. I want to get a bandana. I like the look of the bandana more than a hat. I'm going to buy one myself. Face is windburned. Yeah, but your forehead is milk white. I didn't wear it all day. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, you will. Is it too tight? Like... No, but it just feels high on my head. I told you, put it in. Okay. Perfect. Sit on a seat, you look good, or do they say don't sit on it? Well, they're not saying anything. Maybe you should get the white one. Make noises like a motor or something. It's <laughs> huh? You're too old to have something like that. Your arthritis little kit car. Or trade it in. That's what you could do. Did you get my belly in that blends or not? Not just your beard. Oh, I did. Second day, getting ready to go in the morning. What? Some must have left early from getting their gas stopped. This is good, I got him on telephoto coming.
Hey, did you get any pictures of the parade? Crap! Don't say crap. Stop. to do that all the time in the home movies. You found the ice cream parlor. It's the Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota. There's a 
They put new corn up there every year. See, this is a picture of that palace constructed in 1882. It's the first one, and this is the second one constructed in 1905. That's the same one we're in now. The pioneer, where Laura Ingalls Wilder wrote Little House on the Prairie, and the Ingalls family of our childhood stories lived and farmed in the Desmet area northeast of here. By the time that uh, the head is full strong. The head. Take it out. Yeah, it's sort of like it glows, it's so nice. This is a picture of uh, taken in 1902 of the Corn Palace. This is 1913. 1917. 1935, my birthday, 1942, 1958, and 1993. Every year they change it, made out of all that design made out of corn cars. Dakota, and this is the Missouri River, the viewpoint here. I think they just paused a few weeks ago. They had their fast, fast, fast champion up here. Championship. Oh, really? Fishing. I like to be in that water. I'm like a roast. <laughs> we moved to Tennessee on a nice lake over there, and they do all that fishing, and I could hardly wait, you know. I went there, but I still couldn't catch a fish. I'm not no fisherman either. Gotta Ready to go in? Starving to Go ahead. Go ahead. demoralized because of all the problems we're having. Jeffrey's going to have to Poor Jeffrey. 
Show Jeffrey. How come all the waiters are so pretty except for Paris? <laughs> You know, why are we sitting here in the, all by ourselves? We're not by ourselves. There's Jeffrey's beard we're trying to show you right now. Take two. Beard. It won't, uh, there it is. It won't focus that close. He's lying. He's no, it won't. Lying. There it is. That's looking good. Okay. <laughs> hey, Dad, did you miss that? What's that? <laughs> Good thing. No, I want a glass. I need the money. Get it from my son there. I thought father What's the weather? Cloudy? No rain, I hope. This is our $75 room. Oh. You, <laughs> you won't... Uh, be having these comforts at home the next few days. When you pay more, you get more. Actually, I really got cheated. She has to go to the restroom. So last day on the ride, a beautiful day. It's supposed to be 90 today. You're gonna make it? The chain doesn't burn up or fly up and rip my leg off. Oh, Jesus, what a nice start. That's what I'll be worrying about. Flying out. <laughs> Jeffrey's bike's making a clickety click sound on a chain. Hear it? There it goes, clickety click. Yeah. He's got to try to make it to Rapid City. About 250 miles, I guess. Right here. What? How many miles you go? 300, that's about all we want to go. Oh, 300. Well, that's not so bad. Yeah, but this heat, I think, turns the back. Yeah, yeah. Because we came from, we started out from Wisconsin. It's basically cold where we've been. Well, not easily cold, but cool. Oh, wait a minute, but you you're going We're headed on. but the whole trip is going to be many many miles and the dog's going to be with you the whole time yeah, 3, here comes the group
are you looking for? <laughs> We're at our uh, first gas stop of the day and we had donuts over here and the next, uh, this right here is going to take us up to the Badlands, 68 miles. And we're going to have a picture taken. I don't know. There's a nice view here. What? Nice view. Yeah, you just want me up to say the bridge. group is stopped for gas. I'm not sure though. Yeah, here comes Jeffrey right here.
Can get on a bank somewhere? I think we're good. Alright, wait, Mikey, Sonia. You happy? Give me, give me. You can have lunch, and then you can do some shopping. As you're coming into the city, I want everybody to pay attention because on the right-hand side, right when you come underneath the interstate, you'll see on the right-hand side a big dinosaur and some gas stations. There's a circular road there, and that's where we're going to line up at 3 o'clock, okay? We'll, we'll depart at 3 o'clock, and as you know, we're right on schedule all the time, so don't be late. Make sure your bike has gas in it so no one runs out of gas on the last leg. And also when we're there, if folks could stop by my bike, uh, there was a police officer in Rapid City who let us in last year. A lady ran a red light and hit him, knocked him down. So we have a get well card that I picked up for him and I'd like everybody on the ride to sign it if you would. And then I'll take it over to the police station when we get to Rapid City. Also, the volunteers here in the front with the Run of the Fun t-shirts, let's give them a big hand because they work hard. Thank you. Okay. Now, if you guys will get in the front, where are the rain?
can't see. How do we know we have? They have a motor. It might be electric. I think they are. That's, that's cool, electric. What is it? This, I don't know. <laughs> go. It says right there. Oh, it's cafe. That's here it is, right here. Oh, that's they change it. Ago, yeah, it never it, stopped yet. It's getting pretty costly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all you people have a good time on me. Okay, thank uh, you. <laughs> hey, Mary. 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 Tell them you'll do anything for a t shirt. <laughs> Tennessee, just a uh, small town outside of Nashville. It's a long across the street again to find another. It's Badlands Bar. Let's go there. Huh? Oh. Okay. Well, you you you're leading the way. Thanks. That sounds good. Hamburger basket. Leave my wife alone. Leave my wife alone. I was trying to get her to go to the washroom. I found it. Yeah, right. I'm getting a divorce. I want a divorce. You're number one. I get to keep the She'll kiss a nerd for a t-shirt. She'll kiss a nerd for a t-shirt. You know that, won't you, Jeff? Right? For you. Now we're in Rapid City. Let's see, I think it's actually a 408 time change. It's 
Mesa Civic Center. Listen up. Oh, hi. Where do you get that from? I need water or something. I don't know. I just... for those who went on the run. Hot Terry now is that this is my mother and father. Why would they claim up to that? Well, because I'm at the dance. 7.02. Guess who's in that tent right now? Little darling. I haven't checked. She might be dead from overdose. This is where we stayed. We find a decent campground at midnight last night after looking for my nincompoop son who left us stranded. Had to sleep on the ground because he took off with everything. My Padded pads for the ground, the uh, air mattresses. Went to Glencoe Campground, a big rat race, 20,000 people per shower. And we found this at midnight. Survived. I'm going to look at the gun dealer to find a gun. And Kathy, we probably won't see Jeffrey again, because I'm going to kill him. Darling. Mary Lesna. Are you alive? Rise and shine. Might be dead. Morning. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not moving. Are you in a cataleptic state? How was your night? I slept good. Get up for breakfast. I can't even go to the bathroom. What are you talking about? Yeah, I, mean, I don't have any clothes, but I'll... Well, I'll give you a pair of... Leave it be. Leave it be. That's after a night sleeping on the ground without an air mattress. Due to Jeffrey Lesna. That's the shower room. And that's where you can have breakfast. Three dollars. Jeffrey Lesnar is definitely out of the wheel. 
got my air mattress. I'm having to move under a, a tree and hope it don't pour down rain. Look at that. Don't that look beautiful? That's the way you move when you pour. But he, Lisa, you're definitely the only one left in the wheel. Did you say? Oh, can't find him. Went up into town and uh, went to the campground where I put the sign to meet him at 10 o'clock. He's not there. I went up in where they're riding the motorcycles. Test riding, he's not there. I went to the center of town where all the bikes are. Of course, I can't find him there, but uh, we, we'll go over there and uh, walk up down the main street. And maybe right we'll... Now bump into them. Well, that's what you want to do. That's what you're here for. Well, then I'll go. I'll just stay. You, you stay here. You can stay here a few minutes because I just sent up some sunscreen. I can't ride in this without sunscreen. Where are you going to get sunscreen? The lady's going to the store and I asked her to bring me back to number eight coffee. Why don't you just wait being at the town? I didn't know if you'd be back until two or three o'clock. I just figured out why, why Jeffrey ran off and left us like that and with, took our air mattresses and everything. I think that when he was he, talking to this beauty queen, I think that he made a date with her and spent the night with her and didn't want us to know. What other reason would a guy leave his family like that stranded? And take both air mattresses. Both air mattresses, knowing that you got arthritis and I'm old. I'm, I'm telling, uh, I'm telling Kathy and I'm gonna find the girl, I'm gonna find Jenna and I'm gonna confirm it. Who's Jenna? Oh, She's yeah, the beauty the queen. queen. Okay, we'll we'll check into that. This is uh, all in front of the community center here in Sturgis. We're gonna park here and then walk. Uh, Walk up to the center of town, still looking for Jeffrey. This is Main Street in Sturgis. Maybe that's where uh, he'll be with the Queen. Boy, it's fun spending my whole trip looking for my son with my two air mattresses.
got married here, I think. Is that what happened? That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> When you go on a motorcycle, you got to have black. Can you show him the black? We have this one. This is the last year that we're watching. We have this not even hanging out. Okay, that's all. Did you guys call each other this morning? Oh. Oh. one rally and they had a rat bike class and one guy had a real rat bike like that. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's a pig. Did you train those things that use a litter box or what? Do they smell it? This is where you can buy your official shirts. Just the sales lady here. She's a go-go dancer in real life. <laughs> I got him
What is this for? Are they raffling that off? That's on a Harley. Is that a new one? That's a brand new one, you betcha. Over 13,000. Another line of very nice looking bikes, and there's one that's outstanding. Outstanding. I wonder, I wonder who owns it. This is the campground hog heaven where Jeffrey's staying. You gotta get me a beer. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you got my ranch. Thank you, quick. Look at all these. Real. Come out! Of, I can't come out of the tent. Maybe. <laughs> $175. How much? Only $175. What would you do with something like that? Just me. Hang it up, hang it on the wall. Get on the back of the motorcycle and get naked and just put this on. <laughs> You go up on a stage and dance. Oh, yeah. They give you a free beer. Those who are lonely and far from my home, trying to get back where I know I belong. We share a home and I was already there. Beautiful woman there. Oh, it's it's more. If I can, uh, yeah, take your cap off. 
for the for the camera. I'm, I'm, you want to take your top off? Yeah, because I'm going to put this on TV. Huh? Yeah, it'd be different though in public. You do it, I'll go back and get my camera too. <laughs> It's awful dark in here. just informed me she loves camping and when you wake up on a crisp day like this she loves it and I'm gonna buy her a soft tail heritage if she'll camp the rest of her life no more motels is that right is that right <laughs> You were sleeping last night. Yeah, but I don't like it. It hurts. It hurts. Don't be rushing me. I got to Jeffrey coming in for the breakfast for Willie G, his buddy who signed his gas tank. Perfect timing.
remember you? Huh? Yeah, he says he did. I told him about my gas tank and all that. Sturgis, 
I can't let this microphone go at this point. This one's number one in my book. It always has been. Fifteen years ago, we rode out for the first time, and my partners who we've done this with are right at that back table. David, EJ, stand up. couple little funny stories about the Sturgis. Uh, I met Arlen out here for the first time in number 10 Deadwood. <laughs> and uh, he was on one end of the bar, I was on the other end of the bar. He had one of his meat toys off the street. So we got together and uh, went out to take a look. And in each one of our hands was an open can of beer. <laughs> Patty wagon, the whole bit. <laughs> and 57 bucks later, for each of us, we were back on the street. <laughs> it's a great way to meet Ireland, and we've been friends ever since. Some other things that, that are important to me, uh, the first belt drive came out here in 79, the first low rider was the final belt drive. Uh, now belongs to Stratton. Uh, that, that motorcycle spawned the uh, final drives for, for all of our vehicles today. But Sturgis uh, went from some hill racing in City Park to a true international event. Yeah, it will always be my favorite. But there's, there's one very important thing that I, that I have to at this point. The person who's written out with me all these years and has supported me in this great industry and support is my wife, Nancy. States of America than from the saddle of a Harley Davidson. That's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Pretty easy now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, please be patient with us. We just got a few more things we want to do. Mike would like to sing another song or two for us, and then Ed will wrap things up. Well, just before we close this down, I'd like to remind everybody that in your uh, program, is that better? in the museum and I'd like to see everybody down there, the tourists, Sierra Hall of Fame. Uh, somewhere around 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, I know the wrecking crew, the Indian wrecking crew will be down there to sign autographs. Uh, Willie G's got so busy a schedule, I hope he can make it, but if he can't, we'll sure understand why. Uh, and also we have a autograph table at the museum between 12 and 1. We have Mike's tapes down there and all I can say is Thanks a heck of a lot for coming, I really appreciate you showing up. <laughs> Pretty impressive. This isn't Deadwood. I knew those people. That's Jeffrey drinking beer. Mary going to hit the uh, Wait, slot machine. Wait, get my new sunglasses. Turn oh. it off. Mary got a new pair right there where I, where I was waiting. Look cool. Oh, I'm Deadwood, uh, South Dakota. I was gonna say Deadwood, Colorado. Turn it down. Yeah, loaded it down. Yeah, he wasn't very, he didn't 
talk it out. Yeah, it's number 10. This is the place that Willie was talking about when he uh, was making his speech. My God. That's where Willie got busted. No, he cut me I come across like a dam. It's very pretty. Crazy horse mount. This is in the city of Custer. Recommended bar by Jeffrey Lesnow. Machines are subdued. Where are they? I don't even see any. We're on Needles Highway, Custer State Park, and we're looking at. I guess you call call these are sheep. I guess you call those sheep. My yeah, sheep. Some kind of. You can walk over there and chase them. Go and catch one for the video. That's what he told me about uh, a buffalo. No, I wouldn't wrestle a buffalo, but I can take First, I take a picture of the sheep and now the people. Goodbye. Oh, oh. That was cool. How come you came back? That's the way down in the park. Okay, we'll see you. Uh, I'll see you at 12 noon at the sign at the sign-in place. Right. Or tonight I might come up to that bar. That bar we got the coupon. I might come today. You won't be going there today. Well, you don't get to deal. No, but I might just go look. Yeah, I might. Okay, if I don't see, if I don't see you, then I'll uh, see you tomorrow at noon. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Over here, let's look at the. Needle Highway. This is the highway. The Needle Highway view. Oh, yeah.
You can take a panoramic picture. No, I I've got to tell you how to do it. I'm over here at the convention center. This is a new model uh, of all the bikes. This is the uh, Fat Boy, 1994. Still the Fat Boy. This is the 1200cc Sportster. This is the Heritage Softail. This is a Dynaglide Lowrider. FL8 uh, S Electric Guide Glide Sport. This is another fat boy. Another 1200 Sportster. This is the Springer. Uh, this Springer is called the Springer Softtail. LHTC, like mine. This is another Springer soft fair. We had we had some wonderful diameter here. This looks like a pretty good trailer here.
just in front of the uh, rally headquarters where I spent my life waiting for Jeffrey. We got to hook up again today because I missed him at 12 noon, so check him back every hour. This is a map showing where everybody came from in this rally. Wow. Minnesota's a big one, Wisconsin. No. Jeffrey's campground, Hog Heaven. I'm over here looking for him. I haven't seen him all day. We miss each other. Supposed to go leave tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll find him or not. So I'll sit around here for a while. Well, a good band tonight. Still trying to fix things at all over my dick. We will be here tomorrow night also, so come back on out. This is a nice campground. We'll be here till 1 o'clock tonight. Same for tomorrow night. I 
through Montana right now and Jeffrey's up ahead I just want to take a stop show you the kind of country we're going through there's nothing here but this road we're going through the Indian reservation and we are we're heading for toward where Custer got killed. This is a gas stop along the road for Jeffrey putting in his extra gallon and about 30 miles up the road we'll come to a gas station. He's oiling his chain right now. We're in the middle of nothing in Montana. Miles and miles of road. Someday he'll be rich enough to have a real motorcycle, a man's motorcycle. <laughs> I'm on the second uh, two hour tape. First eating stop in Montana. Flip the map over, you can see it. Oh, of course, well, you don't need it because this will show you where we're going. Jeffrey. Now I gotta catch him. Where have you been? Where have you been? I had to get my lunch. You had a what? Threw up? No, I didn't. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, that's some. I don't think it's going to rain. No, I don't think it's going to rain. I yeah, know. We're just like getting squeaking through. This my uh, shield is so damn scratched up. I wish they could. I wish they could have better. Uh, Put on the rain gear, take off the rain gear. We're at 
Custer's Battlefield now at the visitor center. Program for the day. Uh, so as you visit, uh, we will be open for two more hours. If you want to take the drive to the Rio Benteen site, it's a five mile road that extends that way, and then you have to come back to five miles this way again. Make sure that you leave. I've been together for weeks and months going back into the winter, but most of them had only been together for a few days. The first ones that came in that afternoon were not sea people, they were northern Cheyenne, and they stopped, uh, several hundred of them, close to that line of timber that cuts across the valley bottom over there. And they set up their camp circle, and their horses grazed near them. And over several hours, probably less than 100 were killed, and the dead were removed by their families immediately after the battle. Only the Sioux and Cheyenne words tell us what happened to the 200 soldiers killed in the fight. Some Indian accounts say that Custer and his men may have tried to cross the river one and a half miles to your left. Angry warriors, led by dogs, raced across the river and forced the troops back to the ridges. Having lost the initiative, the soldiers found themselves in rough terrain, unsuited for mountain action. The company seems to have made individual stands, fighting on foot against the waves of Indians that rolled in from every direction. The warriors did not need to expose themselves to the troopers' fire. Dismounted. We're in Billings, Montana, Muzzleloader Cafe, Powderhorn Bar, having something to eat. So we're going into the Powderhorn, Powderhorn Lounge. Shine time. 6.30. Jeff Lesna loading the rat, the rat bike. Now look at this, look how filthy this bike is. And over here a beautiful clean one. I know, you could at least drive by sea though. While I was in the shower. Tell me something. Did you wash your socks? What was that you said last night? The, the, 
<laughs> why? You couldn't understand why they stunk? I understand the boots. Well, how many days did you wear them? About two days. Two days? Well, that's not too bad. It was horrible. I think you set your, your tent up tomorrow. I don't think I can stand it. Up the road, we're on Highway 191, and we have about 200 miles to go to get to uh, the Glacier National Park. I'm waiting for Jeffrey to come by. That's to where we're going to head up to those mountains up that way. Beautiful country. There's a deer over there. I'm looking into the sun. But there he is. Looking right at us. Jeffrey, I think you can catch that deer. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Is it... It's, it's like an antelope or something. We're going to take a panoramic picture right here. Just left Great Falls about a half hour ago, and Jeffrey dodged off the road onto the wrong, uh, onto the business part of I-15. I couldn't get back to him, so I can't find him now. So I'm heading up to Glacier by myself. See this storm here? I just rode through it. It passed over now. It was scary. And it's still raining right over there. Starting to clear a little bit. And this is the way I'm going. So I got a little hole to shoot through right over there. And that's where I'm going. About a hundred miles more and I'll be at the park. I'm going to assume that I'll find him over there at the visitor center. So I'll let you know. That's my first view of the Rocky Mountains. I got in some more rain, but not too much. Still no Jeffrey. About 20 miles from the Glacier Park right now, I just saw Jeffrey and I uh, let him go ahead as I'm taking this picture. The scenery's really getting fantastic. It isn't clear. I don't know why it's not working right. Let me focus it by hand here. That's the road he went up. This is the visitor center for the park. Go in there and put on some warm clothes. This is just the entrance. Go in there tomorrow. It's fantastically beautiful. She can see where she where you're talking to her from. 
Now she can see you as you're speaking. So you can see where this phone call was taking place. Now I'm going to pan <laughs> out to the mountains right now. There um, he goes. He's uh, panning out. I'm panning out. You'll be able to see it. Okay, there we are. Okay, I'm going to go set up the tent. We're in our campground here at uh, St. Mary's, right by the Glacier Park entrance. And I'm just showing you how it looks here in the evening. We just set our tent up. Look at the clouds over those mountains. In the morning, hopefully it'll be sunny and we'll take another picture and see what it looks like. Very beautiful, very beautiful.